All right, guys, so welcome back. Um, all right, so please mute yourself, mute yourself, please. Do next, have a grand noise, I'll obstruct the, into, uh, the training, please. Mute yourself very fast, please, everybody. Okay. All right, so we go now. Next we go is the DC boat we're explaining. Okay. Right, so we're, we're now we're explaining this that uh, now what a boat has done is that you have bought, instead of using your $100 or $500 at the go to buy Litecoin, when there are chances, when there are chances of, um, just a moment. Okay, yeah. So we, we said, now the boat has done this. Look at what the boat has done for you. Yeah, the boat has done this for you. Bought for Litecoin with the expectation that if Litecoin go to, uh, so little man. So now, this is it. Bought light for Litecoin at the rate of $50. Expectation was that Litecoin was going to go to uh, $52.5. But reverse the case, it came down by another 5% or 2 or 3%. Your boat will buy additional 2 or uh, 2.1. Now, how much have you spent? You have spent 100 and 200, which is $300. Now, what your boat is going to do is this. It takes, the first price was $50. The second price was $47. The first price was $50. The second price was $47.5. So $50 plus 47.5 plus 47.5. That is 97.5. Divide by two, that is 48.75. 5% of it multiplied by 0 0.05. 2.4, 4, So plus um, how much? 40, what do we get just now? Sorry, uh, I beg your pardon, let me go back. Uh, 50 plus 47.5. Give us this. Divide by two, which is the cost average, 48.75, 48.75, 48.75. So 5% of it, okay, this plus 48.75. So that's 51.875. Now, the first order was placed at 52.5 to be sold. But this time around, you see your boat, we cancel the first order and replace a new price. So even when the Litecoin price never gets up to 52 again, it will still do your 5% because of your cost average. It buys every dip to take average and cover the previous volume you bought. And at the end of the day, what happened is there is what we call safety count and active safety count. Now, you don't make your active safety count to be many, one or two maximum. Because if there are many, it will complete all before it will take the cost average. So if you pick it to like three or four, now it will buy this and wait again to buy this, wait again to buy this before you take the cost average. So, but in this case, it will buy this and when the market slide down, you buy this and add up, and the market move up to 51 point something, it sells. 
then new order coming, he buy and calculate 5% deviation from that new buy. Maybe new deviation now may be $49. So when market deviate to 49, he buy the new safety order. Now, if the case happen that he finish selling this at this rate and the market deviates, bam, come down here, he set a new price. But at the end of the day, the new price now was how much? 48.75. And the market further drop. He activate this. Now, 5% deviation from this, so will be uh, multiplied by 0 0.05. Okay, so minus 48.75. 48.75 is 46.312. So it's going to buy another new one at this rate. Do you know what it's going to do now? It's now going to take this 46.315 plus 48.75. This is it. Divide by 2. That is 47.53, 47.53, okay? 47.5325. Now multiply by 5%, 47.53, 0 0.05, so plus 40, is it 45 we got now? 40, is it 45 or 47? Uh, 47, right? Uh, something. Uh, 47.513, oh no, 5325, 47.5325, plus, uh, so that's 49.9. Now, when the markets now go back, so you now you ask yourself that, uh, where is my market selling for me here? That means this boat is not making profit. <laughs> I remember the first one I bought was $50. Then why is it selling at this rate? That's dollar cost averaging. So the market will just, so if you have no more volume, now example of what I'm showing you now is what you will see here. If you go to my Binance, you're gonna see something. Okay, there we go. So just follow this step gradually and understand this bit. It's very simple. You will learn more if you are attentive and you're always observing. One thing I tell people on the boat is that what you don't understand, the first thing you must do, as a matter of fact, is to place your cursor on the question mark. Because I'm going to go now to show you the, you know, how to set the boat, you know, and those things you need to take into cognizance while setting your boat. Okay. Uh, there we go. If you look at my boat, uh, if you look at my account now, you will see some of my trade. Okay, I'll show you here. It's coming up. Good. Now, let me show you something now. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, if you look at my boats now, come on. Now look at my trade history. Okay. So uh, I want to go to my trade history. Now even my order book, open order, you can see that I see have chief world open. Uh, okay, so trade history. Now look at my trade history, it's coming up. Now see, it has sold chief world at uh, 29, Cent, uh, two cent, nine penny, and he bought back at this. Is what the hell? Now you can ren, that's done with ren, uh, tifwe, tifwe, ren, ren, vet. You're just battling with these guys. Ethereum, and all of them, you know, Ethereum, Ethereum, you know, so it's tired with BTC. <laughs> it's tired with BTC, and of course, that's what my boat does. So I set up more boat with primary coin, I don't trade with shit coin. Now, if you go to my other history, you're gonna see some rep records or reports of or history 
of orders that were cancelled. Okay, look at T4. Look at T4. What do you see here? Cancel. You know why it cancelled it? There was another it placed before, and the market sold and adjust itself. It will cancel the old order. Sometimes you can see sell order cancel. Maybe the profit you want to take before and the market fall again, you want to take the average. Okay? And so it will cancel the old order price in order to set a new order price that is going to buy because of the new uh, market that was sold at the prevailing rate. So you will see cancel, then so you can't be fast to that extent of sharply cancel some, readjust your market. No, people just do all of those things for you. You just hold your peace. I don't need to be there to do all of those things. The boat just does it, it all things. I remember I entered T4 today. Yeah, I remember I entered T4 today. And I, I think I said it on, on View With Me platform that we should enter T4. I think I, I, I think I did so, say so. Yeah, I think so, I think so. I just think so. Uh, unless, yeah, on our Telegram channel, T4, T4. Just a moment. Yeah, market call. There is a rebuy opportunity for the coin from 0 0.026 to 0 0.030 and selling range of 0 0.035, 0 0.0. Yeah, I think uh, T4 was called today. So, and I enter into the trade now to be moving you know in my own favor and i do not need to be there so it started trading you can now see i t4 entered the market as 0 0.026 or 0 0.028 and bought additional volume at 0 0.026 and it sold at 0 0.0287 so you'll be imagining why because it took the cost average the dollar cost average was taken and that was why he sold at that trade. Now, I'm going to go to the boat. I'm just showing you some of those, the, the reports. You can always see the report on your Binance and all of that. Okay? So, I'm going to go to the boat. Uh, network, so, okay. Just a moment. Oh, man. Okay. Strong, strong, strong. Okay. I'll correct something. Sorry, I want to bring out the boat now. So we do, uh, we do DCA. But what you're going to use more is your DCA boat, okay? What you're going to use more is your DCA boat. And you have to be very, very meticulous in using your DCA boat to maximize profit. Now, please take note, please. While some of us who have we've done training together before now, I, uh, okay, problem. You can see by now, um, uh, the other trade uh, I was to like uh, sell off, that's no problem, and um, to revive back. So uh, I didn't remember. Okay, now I've told us the smart trade, and then I'm going to go back to the smart trade. But let's start from the DCA boat. Told us the DCA boat is dollar cost average. Okay. okay. Okay, so the DCA boat is dollar cost average, okay? I have to make additional money, $14. It was $12 before we started this training. So there we go. You, in, even your dollar cost average, in your boat, you still have signal, okay? You still have signal. Signals are available to show you 
you have signal, you have copy trade. You have signal, you have copy trade. You will see uh, pairs of, of currency that the boat will recommend for you to enter into. And at the same time, you see other people's boat that were running that you can copy their strategy. Okay. Uh, coming over here. Oh, the network slow here. Okay. So you see other people's uh, boats that have been set. You can look at it here. All of these are people's boats. Now it's telling you that this guy has been trading on XRP for the past 21 days. And has completed 21 deals, okay? 21 deals. And that this person was making average of $3 at 3% daily for the 21 days. This is making about average of $2.98 on the average for the 21 days. Now, this is the point. What you need to understand is this, is that do they make that 3% flat per day? No, they don't. Some days will be bogus, some days will be tiny, some days none, you will see the gap. I'm gonna show you all those history, okay? But the first thing first, you must understand before you start copying people's uh, strategy is how to set up your own first. So number one, the first step is to click on disabled. But take note of something very important. Don't trade too many coins at a time. Okay, I'll keep it simple. Don't trade too many coins at a time. Two, ensure your money is usually in two major currencies, BTC and USDT. Some of us in Nigeria, of course, NGN can be added. You can be trading NGN consistently and make profit. Okay, why? Because BTC is very volatile. There's no coin that has that can give you good volatility like BTC. So there's no point wasting too much energy trading unnecessary coins because you don't want to trade coins. No, you don't just trade coins. I trade coin to make profit, as simple as possible. I trade coin to make profit, and so if it's not giving me profit, there's no point. Now the next you need to click. Now sometimes, some of you guys, if you check your boat when you click on this here, yours may be on Godon. Please ensure you click on advance because I, that's what most people have as an issue when they want to start trading. Most people, most people accounts may be on Godon instead of advanced. So please check all the time when you open your DCA boat to make sure that you are not on Godon because if you're on Godon, your interface will not look like mine, okay? And you will not be able to edit the settings, okay? or you know put your own futures you have to follow strictly what straight jacket whatever is there and which is not palatable okay so now so you have click on disabled okay you have click on disabled the next thing you are meant to do is locate create sometimes if you're using phone it may not be horizontal it may be vertical so scroll to see create boat not on Godon's or the already existing boat, but this. Now, you click on create boat, that's the second step. The third step, of course, you make sure you have loaded money in your account that you connected with your boat. Make sure you have enough Bitcoin, you have enough um, USDT. So next, you can see now, look at, uh, look at what I was saying. Go don't advance. If, if your own is here, look at what's going to show. I know a lot of people will have that challenge. So ensure you are not here. I'm going to teach us here one later, later time. You can see this one is more risky. There's another strategy in the boat, but don't make use of it now. So ensure you do click, you did click on advance. Now, once that is done, please, if you have many exchange platform connected to your boat, ensure you select the right one. I can see my own now. I have many, many uh, boats connected, uh, exchange connected. So I'm using this, Binance. Now, on Binance, because you make sure that you have money there, okay? Now, now there's, signal, there's a signal provided for you here that, yeah, you know what? One inch is good to go. 
XRP USD is good to go, Ethereum USD is good, Tether is good to go, ADA is good to go, BTC USD is good to go, Zilliqor, Litecoin, XLM, Link, EOS, and other like. Good to go. Now, but what exactly are you going for? Okay, so let's say you're actually going for uh, Zilliqor, okay? Right? Or you have a different coin entirely in your mind. So don't necessarily tick all these. Please don't do that. Of course, uh, some of us, you know, be with me. Of course, we know coins we want to trade. So, and I beg you, any coin you're not too sure that they are very strong in moving up, don't use your Bitcoin to trade with them. Don't. If not, you end up wasting your Bitcoin because it will, su it will suppress your Satoshi. Okay, so now this is what you do. You're coming here, you're coming here to say, okay, I want to trade, um, there was a coin I was checking the other time. I was checking, uh, wing. Okay, let's say I want to trade wing. So I want to trade wing, All right? USDT. So I want to trade wings USDT. Okay, fine. Now there we go. Now look at those things. These are very fundamental things you must pay attention to. Number one, what exactly am I going for in wing? Direction of the market. Is the wing going up or is coming down? So I'm actually going long. Now, profit currency. You have coat, you have base. What is coat? Coat means the money you want to use to buy. Wow, it's always at the right. Base means the coin that you want to trade your money with, which you expect it to be moving up, is always at the left. So base, now if I want to be trading, there are times you need to always pick your profit in base. If it's a coin you love more, like if it's, if it's chain link, if it's chain link, if it's, um, you know, some of those primary coins, those coins, strong coins, you may not want to be taking USDT in place of them. You want to increase the volume of such coin. It is expedient to click on base. So your profit will be taken to that coin instead of USDT. So, but in most cases, you want to increase your USDT, but increase your portfolio. You want to earn more money so that you can spend at any time you want to spend, then you leave it in code currency. All right. Now I'm going in. Now, we say base order size. I talk about base order size. If you don't understand, place your cursor on the question mark. It said the size of the first starter order. That is, when the boat starts running, the first volume you to buy is whatever money you put here. So let's say I want to spend $500 on a pair of currency. So I may decide to say, okay, the first order size will be 100 bucks, if I like, okay? Or I can say just 80 bucks or 60 bucks. I'm gonna show you why. If it's a very volatile coin, maybe like, you know, some coins, they can just do va, 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 bah, you know, stuff like that. Like when Ethereum, uh, uh, XRP did that. So I would not put too much here. But if it's a coin that is consistently going up, it is a student, if you're using $500, use your base to be $100. And then here, you can pick it to be what? Maybe 50 bucks or 40 bucks. Okay? Now, it's showing you now that with this, you have said you need a minimum of three hundred and one dollar. I'm going to tell you why. Now go back here. You come down here. You are saying, please leave your market. The first order size is going to be limit order. So leave it on limit. Don't put on market price. Now the next you go to is what we call take profit. This deals that condition. Leave it as soon as possible. Over time, when you are learning, we have different signals we paid for. If you want to pay for them. And then I have a lot of them that I actually paid for, and then you can pay for too, or, or pick some free, none of that. You know. So now but just leave it as soon as possible. Now take profit. If it's a very volatile coin that's making an upward trend, some coins you see they can do 30% in a day. So I can say, okay, take profit at 4%. Now, but if it's something like BTC, it's not normal for you to go to 4%. Just put like 2% maximum, if not 1%. But there's that possibility of Bitcoin doing one 1% within the range over time, and then you can be completing a deal every 1%. So every 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%
you are making 1% of your money and it re-enter back. So if you complete 20 deals in a day, that means you do 20%. So it makes more sense. Make sense? So you need to do that. So, so but in this case, so if I'm going for the wing, so let's say I'm using 4%. Now in most time when I use big percentage, maybe 5% or 4%, I love using trailing. Why? Okay, I'm gonna explain trailing to you. So if I use trailing, can say minus 2.5 or 0.25%. Uh, what does trailing does? Trailing means, now I wanna sell at 5%, but the market was very volatile, was moving up very crazily. When it get to 5%, my trailing button is gonna be activated, which means my boat will not sell my market at 5%. You know what the boat will do? we activate the trailing uh, option by not selling my market at 5%, but continue to trail the market to anywhere it goes to as far as up is concerned. Now, maybe the market in, the, in that day do about 15%. I want to sell at 5%. Now, I do 15%. Now, after 15%, that's a great all-time high. I want to start coming down. Now, the moment you get to that 15%, I start coming down. Minus 2.5%, 0.25%. That means at 14 point, at 14.75 percent, your boat will sell it. That means invariably you want to make 25 uh, 5 percent before, but your boat end up making you how many percent? 14.75 percent because of the trading. So it makes sense, right? Now, but in most cases when you are using your boat, I don't encourage people using trading. I encourage you using trading for smart trade, and I'm going to explain. Okay. So, but when it has to do with your boat, you want to close deal as fast as possible, maybe 3%, okay? Now, stop loss, forget about it. It's not most cases I use stop loss. Now, this, look at I say, maximum safety trade count and maximum active safety trade count. What does that mean? What it means is that, hey guy, when the boat continue trading, if the market starts slapping down, the number of time that your boat is going to execute buying this volume you place here. Apart from this hundred dollars, the number of time that it will be buying this forty dollars, the maximum time is going to be five times. That's what you are saying here to the boat. Now, but despite the fact that you say five times, now this what you are saying here, I say maximum level one or maximum two. What does that mean? Now you say five times, but immediately the boat buy the first order, which is the hundred dollars box which is the base order, is going to open a new deal of for deviation in price, $40. If you put it too active, it's going to put $40, $40 in two portions. That is in the first deviation and the second deviation. But if you put it to one, it's going to open one. Now what happens when it closes, if there's a deviation to the first one and it buys a diary, $40, it's going to take the average immediately. Well, if you put it to say five or four, if it buys now, it's not going to close the deal. It will be waiting for more deviation before you take the average. So it can delay you. So don't do that. So maximum, just leave it one. But I said to put it too much. Here, I always love, if it's a very volatile coin, you know, there are some coins you also do back, and then they correct back by 7% or 10%. So you can put like deviation 5%. Now, let me show you something here. You see, it says it's going to use $301. How do that they arrive at this? One dollar could be for the charges, but how do we arrive at this? Simple. How many times do you say you buy forty dollars worth? Five times. Look at it. Safety other side. See, and what does it say is that the size of the following averaging orders, and you say five times. Five times forty is two hundred dollars. What is your base size? Hundred dollars. Hundred plus two hundred is three hundred dollars. Charges. One dollar by the exchange. It makes sense. So now the next thing you're going to do, and remember when you say take profit, you are saying take profit based on the volume, total volume bought within a time frame. Now look at where I love a setting here. Now when you are doing all of this, you can always click on this table. Click on this table. It's going to break down for you. Say, if I'm buying this coin now, the coin is about $15.147. So the first, if it buys and the market deviates, it's going to buy 
by 5% is going to buy another $40 worth, $40 worth, $40 worth, $40 dollars worth, $40 worth, $40 by five times. That means the total deviation I expect in this market is 25% from that $15. That means to the least of $11.6 is what I want to buy. Look at what you should do. At that point, it's a coin that's very volatile. Increase this guy, say 1.3. Can see? If I say 1.3, I'm going to need $461, uh, $462. So 1.4, you can see now, 5 times something. So it'll be 1.33, 1.35. Okay, around $500. Okay, maybe that's what I want to design for this particular trade. Now, leave this one. Sometime you can change it. What is the effect of this guy? Now, click on the table to know the effect of this guy. Click on the table, bam. So click on the table, look at what you're going to see. The first order will buy $100. There's no doubt about that. We'll this rate. If there's a deviation of 5%, it will buy $40. If there's more deviation, it will be adding. Instead of $40, it will buy $54 worth. If there's more deviation, instead of $40 or $54, it will buy more, $72. If more, so the more deeper the deviation, the more volume it buys. So that when it's returning back, now look at it. If it's buy at $11, it's going to buy... You can see it's going to buy $132 worth at the very low price. So in such, you make more money when it's doing the cost averaging. Now, in most coins I do like this, I don't leave low percentage. I put like 7%. Because when it dropped down by 25%, it makes sense. I dropped down by 5, 7, 10%. It makes sense that it pulled back by another 5% or 7% and I make chunks of money. So that's why so one deal close, you will see that you make more money. At one deal close, you make some money. Okay? Not all coin you do this for. Now, if you look at it, some of us on view with me, there was a day uh, yesterday when I expected Bitcoin that is struggling to cross 28,000. I have to tell us to like go and change our deviation to a very far deviation, maybe 5%. So that when Bitcoin drop by that, you buy more volume and you have advantage. So there's no point in me panicking that Bitcoin is going to correct. No, I just set my vote down to meet up with the range of the low, as low as 20 or 24, $25,000. And so at the market drop down, my market, my vote pick it and sell and give a good profit. So for me to be killing myself or Bitcoin is coming down, I don't need to do that. The vote is going to do justice to that. Now, once you do all of these settings, then you are good to go. You see all of these advanced, don't bother yourself. Don't put anything there. Okay? Once you finish all the settings, you click create. Now, listen, not all time you put all of this parameter. Most time, you may just leave it at one. But I love using this because it buy more volume for me when the market dip. Now, you are saying total dip of the market by 25%. If I want to adjust the market and still maintain this standard, sorry, forgive me, 1.33 or 1.34, rather. Now, so if I want to see, now I want to still maintain this, but I want to adjust it, come here, use the scale, reduce the scale, 0 0.85, 0 0.85. So you can say total deviation I expected in this coin and my market should be flowing is 18.445%, 54%. Now, if you click on your table, you will see a price adjustment. 15, 14, 13, 13, 12, 12, instead of 11. So its scale has reduced or has made it moderate for you that say total this and how it's being shared to your order in step by step of the total volume that you should buy. Then once that is done, click on create board and you are fine. All right? So at, on the average, your both start trading. Now, why I have... Uh, I create uh, both more on different coins, especially primary coins that some days, maybe maybe four, maybe if you set up like 10 boats, maybe you put $500 on 10 boats. $500 on 10 boats, $500 times 10, that is $5,000 on 10 boats. Now, sometimes on 10 different pairs of coins, sometimes it will be two or three of the coins that will do very crazily well in the day. Mm -hmm. Another day, another one will take dimension. Another day, another one will take dimension. Sometimes, it may be all the 10, everything just keeps spiking. Right? That was why you see this, my 
my bot, uh, my analysis, uh, my, sorry. That's why you see here now, you can see that my bot traded more of Tifweb, okay? Tifweb, uh, Ethereum, 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 VET, right? If you see another day, you know, today is 28, am I correct? So you can see, da, 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 da. now if you see another day, let's check one week, like 27th, the market that was giving me crazy money, 27, so you can see 27 from here, was more, of, was more of Ethereum, BTC, Litecoin, XT, this XTZ have been doing crazy things since. So you can see XTZ, so, Da, 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 da. Buy, 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 sell, buy, 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 sell, buy, 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 buy. Then sound, buy, 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 sell, see. Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Now, if you check another day, uh, 20, okay, C27, Litecoin, C27, BTC, of course, no day BTC will not trade. Okay, Litecoin, so that's what I tell people. Now, you can see another day, uh, come on, 27th. Okay, you can see on the 26th, uh, 26, right? So BTC, 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 Delta, Delta, BTC, BTC, main, BTC, NGM, BTC, USDT, Litecoin, BTC, okay, Adre, uh, I've forgotten this guy, <laughs> Adre, did I have a, a, another boat I set, okay, okay, no problem, power and all of this, okay, one inch, Okay, I think I was doing training that day and I told people, so Tron, Tron 2 traded da, 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 on the 26th, like that, like that, like that. So you can see different boats, uh, different pairs, making a day for my trade in a particular. So that's why I tell people don't trade shitcoin, okay? Don't trade shitcoin, don't try it. It can wreck you, you just not be fine because uh, you're wasting your energy, your money, your efforts, everything on shitcoin, it's not worth it. Now, why I don't trade shitcoin is that if I'm trading Bitcoin, if my boat, Bitcoin was deviating and my boat is busy buying Bitcoin, then it's better I have more Bitcoin. And I, I may be low in dollar, but I will be much in Bitcoin. Right? So another time, the boat will sell, 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 sell Bitcoin. I will have more USDT. So when the market is pulling back again, you buy more Bitcoin. So it makes more sense. So you just see you're you know, making a lot of money. So that's why I say have more B US, uh, have more USDT and BTC so that your profit taking can be both BTC and USDT. Okay. Now you don't pick your BTC against coins that you are not too sure of. So, but your USDT, of course, uh, it can it's a stable coin, and so it can be traded with any coin. So uh, I think this team will close again. Uh, if it close, when we come to the third time, then we will have to round up with that with question and answers and then some other deeper ex experimentation I will do. And I know definitely I will try my best to see all this video today that is being uploaded for us to sit down with it again and all of that. Now, all the boats you have set, if you want to view it, you can always view your boat, all right? And I can always edit, adjust. Sometimes when you are trading, you see your boat will tell you error. Why is it telling you error? It's telling you error because you have, um, it's telling you error because you have, you open boats and you didn't have sufficient fund. So the boat is, is now to buy, but it didn't see money to buy. And the market range was within the range you have set the boats at the algorithm to read. And then the boat is not buying. Why? Because you do not have enough fund. So it will tell you error, insufficient fund. Okay, you can see some analysis of this boat. Just imagine rent. Can you imagine rent? Ran since November 30th. It traded on 30th, on the 2nd of December, on 4th of December. Okay, 30th, 2nd, hold on, hold on, hold on. And from this day down, down to here, it has not traded. Only today, we're just going up and then has completed how many deals? Uh, 